you're going on holiday, your COVID test was negative, and everything's going great. But mm, I need I need some music. I need to go on the beach. I'm in my hotel room. I want to have a nice sound. Oh, I want to get into the mood. What are you going to do? You're going to take a travel speaker. Here are two possible travel speakers. It's a JBL Charge 5. Hey, it's a JBL Charge 5. It's from JBL. It doesn't suck. It's actually a reasonable speaker. The Denon, the 250BT. They don't make this anymore. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe the market of Bluetooth speakers is not that big. But this is a premium travel speaker. And it's one I still recommend. You can certainly still get it on eBay. If you're looking for a, oh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit of an audiophile, am I? I like my music. Oh, no, that's not a balance and all that. Yeah, if you're an audiophile, you like the Denon, has a travel speaker. And if you just like a fun sound, oh, you like your JBL and Charge 5, and if you like, oh, I like the logo. Oh, look at the number of the logo. It's gone big. And I turn it aside, and, it's got, and it glows red. And you're thinking, oh, that's worth the money, isn't it? So, in terms of price, 106, about 160 pounds. About 160 pounds, but of course you can get a second hand if you, if you search on eBay. But uh, I should point out, by the way, one problem with the Denon 250BT is the battery discharges uh, even when you just leave it on the shelf. And if you come back in about three or four weeks time and you haven't used it, the battery will be, will be dead. Is there a workaround? Absolutely. Um, if you Google it, there is a workaround, but it's mm, there's, ne there's pros and there's cons to using the workaround. So, JBL Charge 5. They're similar in price, but as you can see, JBL Charge 5, it's a bit bigger. How much bigger? Well, quite a bit bigger in actual chunky size. But in terms of weight, 980 grams versus 750 grams. In terms of battery, 22 watt hours on the Denon, but not the greatest battery in the world, as I said, will discharge. Even when you turn it off and you leave it on the shelf, 27 uh, watt hours for the JBL Church 5. It's a bigger battery, but hang on. Hang on a second. We've got Aptex. Ooh, we've got a nice codec on the uh, Denon 250BT. When you get Aptex, that normally means, oh, it's got hi-fi credentials, but mm, we've had the Tribit Stormbox Pro. It's Aptex, but mm, I wouldn't say it was hi-fi. SBC, but it's got a fun signature. Oh, it's a V sound. It's a smiley face, as they call it. It's a stereo speaker. No, it's not a stereo speaker. So we've got, we got a big tweeter and we've got, I can't remember which way around. You think, Adam, why don't you prepare when you do that? I know, I know. It's got a woofer and a tweeter and I can't remember which way, which way round they are. But hey ho, I don't know why people don't take me serious anymore. Bluetooth, it's an old speaker. Bluetooth 4.1, 4.1, not even 4.2. Bluetooth 5.1, not Bluetooth 5, but Bluetooth 5.1. Uh, it's, it's partly boost. Oh, I can connect up to 100 speakers, but hey, if you want stereo, you've got to go into the app. Using the JBL app is an absolute nightmare for stereo. You're going to do it each and every time you want stereo. You can pair the Denon. Uh, if you've got, if you've got, you've got a lot of money and you've paid 100, 320 quid, if you're in the UK, if you're not in the UK, of course you're not paying like 320 quid, you're paying whatever your local currency is, but it's not going to be cheap and you're going to need two of them. And hey, still have to. Uh, pair them each time you speak. I don't understand it. The Chinese knockoffs, I call them knockoffs, but they're not knockoffs, they're just very good value speakers. Do ah, stereo pairing, lovely. You turn them on, they've remembered that they were in stereo and they and they pair. Don't know why. I'm saying that. Denon, uh, I believe, is a Chinese company. Premium Chinese company. Uh, no stereo lock, but um, it's an old speaker. So, no USB-C, because it's an old speaker, but we've got USB-C on the JBL Charge 5. Old speaker, oh, we do have an auxiliary input, but on the new speaker, we don't have an auxiliary input. Can use the Denon as a phone speaker, but JBL, no, you can't. I know it's 160 quid, I know you're paying a lot of money, but no, no, you can't use this as a phone speaker. 27 watts is rated at the Denon, 40 watts is rated at the JBL uh, Charge 5. Almost twice the power, so oh, 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 what's going to happen? Oh. 750 grams, 980 grams. They're both IPX, they are both IP67 rated, dustproof and waterproof up to one meter of water for 30 minutes. And 
They will both float. That's unusual. A lot of them will float these days, even when they're IP rated. So you think, oh, that's good. I can go into the middle of the ocean and I can use it. Well, no, because it'll drop to the bottom of the ocean. But these two will float. You can retrieve them if you drop them in by mistake. In terms of the drivers, we've got 40 millimeter uh, woofers and a passive radiator. Of course, we've got one, uh, that oval shape. They're racetrack drivers, blah, blah, blah. Marketing, it sounds fantastic. But what we've got is one woofer, one tweeter at 20 millimeters and two passive radiators and of course it's the modern speaker it's going to be really really good for uh lip sync mm, hang on a second my testing is very de device specific on my samson galaxy s10 plus i should update it i i know i'm getting 125 milliseconds on the jbl charge 5 anything above 80 milliseconds is obvious lip sync problems but i'm getting 70 milliseconds on the older Den 250, in my, for me, on my device, I'm better off using the Denon 250. I'm watching YouTube and I don't want obvious lip sync issues. So, that's an overview of the JBL Charge 5 versus the Denon 250. And what can we expect? What are the frequency response measurements? JBL Charge 5, Denon 250. Quite a bit of a difference in the sound signatures. First of all, to note on the JBL Charge 5, you hit 80% volume. That's the limit on the bass. No more bass after 80%, and it becomes all very, very mids focused. Compare that to the Denon 250. Much more balanced, and it's much more balanced at all volumes. No actual bass limiting, but there is a slight reduction in the bass compared to the rest of the frequency range after 60%. The noticeable difference is peak around 13 kilohertz, where we're already dipping on the JBL Charge 5. Big upper bass push on the JBL Charge 5, along with the dip at the high end. That's a big contrast to the Denon. Well, that's interesting. As we see with a lot of these Bluetooth speakers, you hit 80% and apparently uh, the law of the world, I don't know why, but 80% seems to be the point at which they say, no, you're not getting any more bass. But we get some more mids and more highs and the JBL Charge 5 follows that uh, law. 80% is the most uh, base you'll get, and after that, it's all mids and highs. Mm, but the Denon, the Denon 250 with its Aptex, or oh, suggests it may be a hi fi credentials. Hey ho, no, you don't get the base limiting that you do on the JBL Charge 5. All right, okay, Al, you've been talking, you've been talking. We want to know how they compare around 60%. Well, six, around 60%, but I'm trying to volume match them. That means just 45% on my JBL Charge 5 is the same volume to your ears as 60% on the Denon 250BT. As long as you tell me that we ain't running out of time Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I I don't wanna grow. I 
I don't wanna die Everybody say one more day, one more life I don't wanna fall, running out of time That was 60% volume for my money, hang on a second, that's not a stereo speaker, that's a mono speaker. JBL reckon uh, we can put a big logo on, you'll pay what, whatever we tell you to pay. And you won't, and if we say it's mono, you'll tell everybody, yeah, but it doesn't matter because, you know, you don't really hear it on the, a speaker that size. And if they had stereo, you'd probably go around and say, it's great, it's got a stereo speaker, it's not mono like the other brand. So, mono stereo for my money. The stereo is adding more shimmer to the Denon. The Denon sounds more right. It just sounds more balanced. This is, don't get me wrong. I, this is a speaker I quite like. And why do you like it out? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it's very clear. It's a very, it has a huge amount of clarity, especially at low volumes. So this is one of my favorite speakers to listen to. Something at low volume, something that's not gonna annoy the neighbors, but it's still gonna sound dynamic. Uh, and it's still gonna hit the bass and, and the highs. But it's a bit of a V-shape. This is just balance. This is more hi-fi. In terms of vocals, it sounds more right. They mm, Look, the problem with, for me is always with the Denon 250 has always been the, the vocals don't pop, and they don't pop, but they sound right. There is a sound stage there. There's a hi-fi quality to it. If you're an audiophile and you really know your music, you're going to love the uh, Denon 250BT. And you're going, oh, I'm not going to have that one. It's got a big logo, but I don't really want it. That's a fun speaker, very clear at low volumes, but that just sounds more right. There's a lot of quality about the Denon 250BT. Let's push the volumes a bit. Let's go to 80% volume. for me look the JBL does have the J JBL Charge 5 does have more bass does kick I do like the JBL Charge 5 because it kicks deep down to the point where you start getting some resonance it's not a major uh, c home cinema type bass but it's to the point where you start getting some resonance it's very crowd pleasing in a very travel friendly package I like the speaker but it's mono it's obviously mono to my ears but that sounds hi-fi. That sound, to me sounds more balanced. There is more bass on the JBL Charge 5 volume for lot volume, but mm, the vocals have a 3 3D dimension to them on the Denon 250 where they don't with the JBL Charge 5. But look, if you're just dancing around the room, you're not looking for a stereo image, that's gonna be fine. It's, an, it's, a, it's a decent listen. And to me, that's more of a serious listen where if you're, if you're really, you know, if you're is that attuned, you, you're trying to pick things out in a track, you'll look for the Denon. If you, you know, there are, 
a lot of detail is missing on the JBL Challenge 5, but not enough that it ruins the experience. There's enough there that still sounds fun. There's a decent bass. You get you get in the major elements of a track, whereas you get all the elements of a track, but that's probably a bit clearer. There's a bit more bass. But look, it's, it's actually a smaller form factor on the Denon. A bit more travel friendly, if you ask me. But hey ho, let's go to maximum volume and let's see what they really can do. Who's gonna save me? Who's gonna save me? Who's gonna save me? So ultimately, JBL Charge 5 goes louder, and it goes louder by quite a bit, 4 decibels louder. But much of that loudness is due to the push in the mids. Having said that, it does overall have more bass, minus 23. It's 4 decibels up overall on the bass on the Denon, but the Denon's remaining balanced overall. So it's reduced bass, it's more in line with the rest of the frequency response. So for the JBL Charge 5, it's kind of a V-shaped, smiley face-shaped sound signature at the lower volumes comes very much a mids and a highs focus sound, a much smoother listen on the Denon 250, but ultimately it can't go as loud as the JBL Charge 5. So yeah, the Denon, the JBL Charge 5, it goes louder, but it's a bit more shrill. You're not getting any more bass than you had at 80%, and that means, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a harsher listen, whereas that still sounds balanced. For me, that's the better listen at maximum volume, but if it's just about going louder, you're gonna go for the JBL Charge 5. It goes significantly louder. But hey, most of that volume is all about the mids and the highs. It's not about the bass. Whereas that carries on being balanced, the Denon 250BT. Personally, uh, this is a great low volume speaker for me. Once you start uh, hitting maximum, you know, the louder volumes, there are better options out there. It's a travel package. It's hard to beat the Denon. It just doesn't have forward vocals that pop. That was always the issue to me. So these, these are both nice travel speakers. Clearly, they're priced the same. Uh, well, they were at retail. I don't know what the, the Denon is now. Apparently, they don't make it anymore. That's a bigger speaker. That's a more probably more travel friendly, throw them out uh, friendly form factor. But that's a more serious listen. So it depends. If you just want a fun listen, you're going to prefer the JBL Charge 5 because you're getting everything you need and it goes louder. But if you have a bit more of a critical listen, if you have more critical ears, you're going to prefer the Denon. Maximum volume still retains that balance, which is all important for the audiophiles of this world. So I would say serious listeners will go for the Denon 250. But if you just want a bit of fun and a bit more volume, you go for the JBL Charge 5. They're both decent speakers. I'm, I'm comparing them in apparently a, both the same price, £160. Obviously, it's going to vary to the country you're in. I can only talk about in the UK, where the difference is going to be clear. It's going to be serious listen, but won't go that loud. Fun listen, but will go a bit louder. And uh, a bit more of a throwabout speaker. So. Only you can decide which one you want. I have compared them there for you. You can hear the differences. I've talked about the differences. I hope you got something out of my video. And thank you for watching. I ain't got their life. I ain't got their life.
in the project, wife got my logic right, cause I'm not so tired. I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. Sorry, my heart ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life. I ain't about that. I ain't about that life. Uh.